The Altai Mountains, Altai Mountains, are a mountain range in Central Asia where Russia, China, Mongolia and Kazakhstan come together, and are where the rivers Irtysh and Obi have their headwaters. The northwest end of the range is at 52 degrees north and between 84 degrees and 90 degrees east, where it merges with the Sayan Mountains to the east, and extends southeast from there to about 45 degrees north and 99 degrees east, where it gradually becomes lower and merges into the high plateau of the Gobi Desert. The name Altai means in Mongolian Gold Mountain, Alt, Gold, and Tai, suffix, with, the mountain with gold, and also in its Chinese name derived from the Mongolian, Chinese, literally, gold mountain. In Turkic languages Al meaning red and Tag, mountain. The proposed Altaic language family takes its name from this mountain range. In the north of the region is the Salapam Mountains, also known as Kolivan Altai, which stretch northeast from 49 degrees north and 86 degrees east towards the western extremity of the Sayan Mountains in 51 degrees 60 minutes north and 89 degrees east. Their mean elevation is 1,500 to 1,750 m. The snow line runs at 2,000 m on the northern side and at 2,400 m on the southern, and above it the rugged peaks tower up some 1,000 m more. Mountain passes across the range are few and difficult, the chief being the Ulan Daban at 2,827 m, 2,879 m according to Kozlov, and the Chapchen Daban, at 3,217 m, in the south and north respectively. On the east and southeast this range is flanked by the Great Plateau of Mongolia, the transition being effected gradually by means of several minor plateaus, such as Yukok 2380 m with Pazirik Valley, Chuia 1830 m, Kendikti 2500 m, Kak 2520 m, Suok 2590 m, and Jevlakul 2410 m. This region is studded with large lakes, e.g. of 720 m above sea level, Kyargas, Dorgan, and Kar 1170 m and traversed by various mountain ranges, of which the principal are the Tanuola Mountains, running roughly parallel with the Sayan Mountains as far east as the Kasochiol, and the Konkakiai Mountains, also stretching west and east. The northwestern and northern slopes of the Salapam Mountains are extremely steep and difficult to access. On this side lies the highest summit of the range, the double-headed Beluka whose summits reach 4,506 and 4,440 m respectively, and give origin to several glaciers, 30 square kilometers in aggregate area, as of 1911. Altaians call it Kaden Bazhi, but is also called Yuxumer. The second highest peak of the range is in Mongolian part named Kudan Peak. This massive peak reaches 4,374 m. Numerous spurs, striking in all directions from the Salapam Mountains, fill up the space between that range and the lowlands of Tomsk. Such are the Chuia Alps, having an average elevation of 2,700 m, with summits from 3,500 to 3,700 m, and at least 10 glaciers on their northern slope, the Katun Alps, which have a mean elevation of about 3,000 m and are mostly snow-clad, the Kolzun Range the Korgan 1900 to 2300 m, Talitskan Selitsk ranges, the Tigeresque Alps. Several secondary plateaus of lower elevations are also distinguished by geographers, the Katun Valley begins as a wild gorge on the southwest slope of Beluka, then, after a big bend, the river, 600 km long, pierces the Katun Alps, and enters a wider valley lying at an elevation of from 600 to 1,100 m, which it follows until it emerges from the Altai Highlands to join the Baya in a most picturesque region. The Khatun and the Baya together form the Obi. The next valley is that of the Karish, which has the Korgan and Tigeresque Alps on one side and the Talitsk and Bashalitsk Alps on the other. This, too, is very fertile. The Altai, seen from this valley, presents the most romantic scenes including the small but deep Kolivan Lake, altitude 360 m, which is surrounded by fantastic granite domes and towers. 
Farther west the valleys of the Yuba, the Ulba, and the Buktarma open southwestwards towards the Irtish. The lower part of the first, like the lower valley of the Karish, is thickly populated, in the valley of the Ulba is the Ritersk mine, at the foot of the Ivanovsk peak, 2060 m, clothed with alpine meadows. The valley of the Buktarma, which has a length of 320 km, also has its origin at the foot of the Beluka and the Kuatun peaks, and as it falls some 1,500 m in about 300 km, from an alpine plateau at an elevation of 1,900 m to the Buktarma fortress, 345 m, it offers the most striking contrasts of landscape and vegetation. Its upper parts abound in glaciers, the best known of which is the barrel, which comes down from the Bieluka. On the northern side of the range which separates the upper Buktarma from the upper Katun is the Katun Glacier, which after two ice falls widens out to 700 to 900 meters. From a grotto in this glacier bursts tumultuously the Katun River. The middle and lower parts of the Buktarma Valley have been colonized since the 18th century by runaway Russian peasants, serfs, and religious schismatics, Raskonics, who created a free republic there on Chinese territory, and after this part of the valley was annexed to Russia in 1869, it was rapidly colonized. The high valleys farther north, on the same western face of the Salopam Range, are but little known, their only visitors being Kyrgyz shepherds. Those of Bashkos, Kilishman, and Cholcha, all three leading to the alpine lake of Telitskoy, length, 80 km, maximum width, 5 km, elevation, 520 m, area, 230.8 square kilometers, maximum depth, 310 m, mean depth, 200 m, are inhabited by Talenjit people. The shores of the lake rise almost sheer to over 1,800 m. From this lake issues the Baya, which joins the Katun at Biesk, and then meanders through the prairies of the northwest of the Altai. Farther north the Altai highlands are continued in the Kuznetsk district, which has a slightly different geological aspect, but still belongs to the Altai system. But the Abakan River, which rises on the western shoulder of the Sayan Mountains, belongs to the system of the Yenisei. The Kuznetsk Alata Range, on the left bank of the Abakan, runs northeast into the government of Yeniseisk, while a complexus of mountains, Chukchut, Saler, Abakan, fills up the country northwards towards the Trans-Siberian Railway and westwards towards the Ob. The Eketak or Mongolian Altai, which separates the Kof Basin on the north from the Irtish Basin on the south, is a true border range, in that it rises in a steep and lofty escarpment from the Dzungarian Depression, 47900 m, but descends on the north by a relatively short slope to the plateau. 1150 to 1680 m of northwestern Mongolia east of 94 degrees east the range is continued by a double series of mountain chains all of which exhibit less sharply marked orographical features and are at considerably lower elevations the slopes of the constituent chains of the system are inhabited principally by nomadic kyrgyz the altai mountains are home to a diverse fauna because of its different habitats, like steppes, northern taigas, and alpine vegetation. Steep slopes are home to the Siberian ibex, Capra siberica, whereas, the rare argali, Ovis ammon, is found on more gentle slopes. Deer are represented by five species, Altai wapiti, Cervus elephus sibericus, Moose, Alsus alsus, Forest reindeer, Rangi federatarandus valentini, Siberian musk deer, Moscus moscifers, and Siberian roe deer, Capraeolus pygargus. Moose and reindeer, however, are restricted to the northern parts of the mountain range. The wild boar, Sus scrofa, is found in the lower foothills and surrounding lowlands. Until recently, the Mongolian gazelle, Proc opera was found in the Russian Altai Mountains, more specifically in the Chuia River steppe close to the Mongolian border. Large predators are represented by snow leopards, unchia unchia, wolves, canis lupus, lynx, lynx lynx, and brown bears, ursus arctos, in the northern parts also by the wolverine, gulo gulo. 
Until the 20th century the tiger was found in the southern parts of the Altai Mountains, where it reached Lake Zison and the Black Irtish. Single individuals were also shot further north, for example close to Barnaul. The Vizent was present in the Altai Mountains until the Middle Ages, perhaps even until the 18th century. Today, there is a small herd in a nursery in the Altai Republic. History and Prehistory The Altai Mountains have retained a remarkably stable climate changing little since the last ice age. In addition the mix of mammals has remained largely the same, with a few exceptions such as extinct mammoths, making it one of the few places on Earth to retain an ice age fauna. The Altai Mountains were home to the Denisovan branch of hominids who were contemporaries of Neanderthals and of Homo sapiens, modern humans, descended from hominids who reached Asia earlier than modern humans 6 The Denisova hominin, dated to 40,000 years ago, was discovered in the Denisova cave of the Altai Mountains in southern Siberia in 2008. Knowledge of the Denisovan humans derives primarily from DNA evidence and artifacts, as no complete skeletons have yet been recovered. DNA evidence has been unusually well preserved because of the low average temperature in the Denisova caves. The same cave has uncovered Neanderthal bones, and tools made by Homo sapiens, making it the only known locale in the world where all three hominids are known to have lived. A dog-like canid from 33,000 years ago was found in the Rasboinichia cave. DNA analysis published in 2013 affirmed that it was more closely related to modern dogs than to wolves. The Altai Mountains have been identified as being the point of origin of a cultural enigma termed the Siam Aturbano phenomenon which arose during the Bronze Age around the start of the second millennium BC and led to a rapid and massive migration of peoples from the region into distant parts of Europe and Asia. World Heritage Site a vast area of 16,178 km superscript 2 Altai and Katun Natural Reserves, Lake Teletskoy, Mount Beluka, and the Yukok Plateau comprise a natural UNESCO World Heritage Site entitled Golden Mountains of Altai. As stated in the UNESCO description of the site, the region represents the most complete sequence of altitudinal vegetation zones in central Siberia, from steppe, forest steppe, mixed forest, subalpine vegetation to alpine vegetation. While making its decision, UNESCO also cited Russian Altai's importance for preservation of the globally endangered mammals, such as snow leopard and the Altai argali. Siberian ibex also live in these mountains. The Uvznuer Basin is also a protected site. Violations of the protection status of argali sheep and other species have been alleged, together with accusations of corruption in the Altai Gate scandal. The incident arose from the death of several Russian VIPs in a helicopter crash early in 2009, purportedly on a poaching excursion. Geology The Siberian Altai represents the northernmost region affected by the tectonic collision of India into Asia. Massive fault systems run through the area, including the Karai Fault Zone and the recently identified Tashanta Fault Zone. These fault systems are typically thrusts or right lateral strike slip faults, some of which are tectonically active. Rock types in the mountains are typically granites and metamorphic schists, and some are highly sheared near to fault zones. Seismic activity Although seismic activity is generally a rare occurrence, on September 27, 2003 a massive earthquake, measuring MW 7.3, occurred in the Chuia Basin area to the south of the Altai region. This earthquake and its aftershocks devastated much of the region, causing $10.6 million in damage, USGS, and wiping out the village of Beltier.